Good afternoon, traders. Holy jeez Louise. What a day today. Of course, you look at the chart after, everything just looks, oh, yeah, another day. We go up and we go down and go up a little bit and then back down a little bit and then up, up some more and then down, you know, up and down. Everything looks fine. You trying to trade it? <laughs> I had to step down to the one minute today because this weird movement, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, if we look, let, let's look at the two minute for a sec, just to see. Well, yeah, there was a trade here. I guess we'll cover the two minute. I don't know. I had to step it down to one minute because I couldn't find a freaking trade. So I basically um, lost an, a nice chunk and, and got it back with a little bit of profit today. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Holy motherfuckers. Okay, we got a double wick high right here. And the cell was right on the open right here. If you were quick enough, it's like the, the old gunslingers. <laughs> you got to know when to pull the trigger quick. Or... Holy tamole. I just finished now. Yeah, it's like 10 to, 10 to uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've been here since uh, 830, quarter to 9. Holy tamole. Oh, do I even have divergence here? No. <laughs> I, what's this? Oh. I don't know what that fucking is. Go buy. Go buy buys. What was I trying to do here? Oh. Now I know. Sorry, I'm having some aluminum moments. <laughs> I'm not calling it senior moments. Moments. Call that in aluminum moments. Uh, look at those fuckers fucking push it down more. <coughs> I was just... <coughs> Holy shit. I was just... I was short in here. I got out right here. Look at what it does after I get out. Look at that. They, they just fucking kill it down to the bottom. Like a fucking rat. Ah, you fuckers. Every time I get out of a trade, it, it, you know, I'm sure this has happened to you. It, it, it goes more, more and more and more in your favor. And you sit there and you go, ah, oh, fuck, why did I close it? You know? Yeah, crazy. I'm still happy, though. Even though I lost and then made it back and then made some profit, I made some profit. So I'm still happy. I'm okay. And then we have, uh, that was good for 257 ticks here to jump in here. Boom, quick draw, down, boom, take the money. And right here we have a low and a higher low. That's what we want to see. And we want to see the lower lows right here. Oh, are they ever dumping it down now, the fuckers? You know what I think? I think it's probably best to... Not even come here when the fucking market opens. Just just come afterwards, like 10 o'clock, 10, 15, and trade it for the, from there. And that way you get to sleep in. Why does everybody want to trade the open? Why? It's a deadly time to trade. You know what I mean? Like, here's the open right here. Look, they ran it up, then they fucking ram it down and got your stops. So all the people who are long all in here... They had their stop right here, and they came and they got it. They came and got your fucking stop. The motherfuckers. Ah, lots of fun trading, eh? You gotta love it to do it. <laughs> and I love it. I just love it. I don't know why, but I love to see these red and blue candles painted on my fucking chart. Yeah, it's weird. But, but you know what? Ask me. Do I play any games on the computer? You know, like army games. Or 
I don't know, whatever golf game or whatever games. I don't play no games. When I was a young kid, um, like, I don't know, 11, 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there, I used to play pinball. <laughs> you ever play pinball? <laughs> no, probably not. You probably just played the electric ones at home. And we used to have arcades and they had, uh, Pac-Man in there, and I don't know, I don't know the name of them, Asteroids, that's right, Asteroids and Pac-Man, <laughs> used to play that game, but not for too long, it costed money that I didn't have, and my mom didn't have, so, to give me to go play, so, I didn't play that much, so anyway, uh, back to this now, honestly think though, before I get into it again, I honestly think that a lot of the drivers out there, they're, they tailgate you, they cut you off, they do this, they do that, they flip you off, you know? I honestly, I, I couldn't figure it out for a couple of years why they're driving like fucking five inches from my back bumper of my car. And I'm saying to myself, well, why are they doing this? These young people, right? And I started thinking about it and I put it together. They think they're playing a video game on their computer at home. And no, you're not. And yeah, this is what they think they're doing. And they think it's, and they think driving their car is, is a game. Well, if you end up getting in an accident one day, it won't be no fucking game. And let me just give you one tip about driving. I've been driving 35 since 1980. 84, was it 84 or 82? I think it was, I think it was like 82. And there's a reason why all this time I've never gotten an accident. I've never hit anybody or anything. It's because I don't drive close to the cars. I stay away from the cars. That's how I didn't hit them. Think about it. If you drive five inches behind a car, okay, what's your chance of hitting, hitting a car one day? It's very high. But if you, if you drive, say, 15 to 20 feet or even more sometimes behind cars, what's your likelihood chance then to, to hit the back of a car? Very little. You, you reduce your, you know, your exposure by 80%. You know, so there, there you have it. If you want to drive for the, you know, for the next whatever, so many years accident free, stay away from the fucking cars. And that's it. Sorry, there's my little <laughs> rat. I had to get something out of me after this fucking shake up and shake out here. Mozi, Mozi Tabernak. Okay. Um. I don't even know if that was a double <laughs> divergence. I, I, I don't know. It's going up like this. It's not. Just forget that trade. What about this next trade? Let's see. Let's see. So we take it to here. Or even here. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere in there. Oh my God, these fucking charts. See how fucked up they are? They're fucked up, man. And then... Uh, I don't know. Like that. No. <laughs> no, no. It's got to be something like this. I don't know. See how fucked up the charts are? Okay, this one's going like that. This one's going like that. Okay, we'll just we'll say that that's a trade. I don't know what else to tell you. The charts are messed up. They're fucking messed up. And where are we now, anyway? Are we near that pivot? Yeah, we're going down to that pivot. You see it? And the low of yesterday, right here. See, that's where we're going. We're going to the blue line, the pivot. And they're going to, you know, take out. We already Well, they already did. I think it's going to the pivot. That's what I think. So there you have it. Okay. 
So there's this trade, yeah, yeah. There, 222 ticks to the top side. And they sold off of here. That's what they sold off of and took it down really fast. Thank God this sell crash happened because I got my my losses back and then a little bit of profit. And that's, that's all I can say about that. Okay. Um, I need to look at Na uh, NAS. Yeah, the, no, no. We just looked at the NAS. Okay. Oh, what did I do now? I'm... I, Come on here, get it together. MES, MNQ. No, we just covered the MNQ. MES, okay, here we go, here we go. Wow, the freaking S&P. See, look at that on the S&P, right? We just hit the, the main pivot of the day right here. See that? Okay, cool. Um, we got like a triple top. But we got no divergence down here in the Osmo. Oh, look at it crash. Look at it go. Look at it go. There's no fucking divergence there. What the fuck? Oh my god, the charts are just messed up today. Um Well, this is a trade for sure, right here. <laughs> right in the middle of the shit. Look at this fucking shit. That's all shit there. That's piles of shit. Um, something like, like this. They're still trashing it. They're still trashing it. Yeah, right at lunchtime. Let's just trash it when everybody doesn't expect it and they're eating their soup and sandwich. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so <laughs> there was a trade in here to sell it. Yeah, somewhere like right there. And it went right to there, to that previous support. And then they took it up again. That was that. Oh, we did have a normal trade. Oh, my goodness. Finally. Fucking finally, we have a fucking normal trade. <sighs> Shit, sorry. I'm just a little bit beside myself. Okay, that was that was magnificent. And we had a higher close. Sell it on the opening of this candle and down it goes. Oh, and did it ever go down? Yes. Beautiful trades there. Higher highs and a sell. Yeah. But man, was it tough over here and in here. It's a big cluster fuck. That's on the two minute. Okay, that that's it for that. Let's let's bring up that MetaTrader wherever it is. Oh, I gotta start it up again. That's right. I shut my computer off. I got this virus uh, in the last couple of days, and. They're trying to get me to buy some fucking, you know, some virus, uh, virus, sub, uh, sub, oh my God, virus software, you know, like McAfee or whatever kind of thing, but it wasn't McAfee, of course, it's some, some fuckers that there's, there's they put a virus on my c computer, it's mixing up. The, um, oh shit. the Yahoo, they're mixing Yahoo with Google and I can't like s search for things properly or whatever. I don't know, but they, they got me. I don't know how they got me, but they got me. They fucking got me. Tried to uh, have an IT guy that works for me and 
He tried to get it off last night. He's he's at it for two hours and he couldn't do it. So he's gonna try again. Maybe tonight. He has a regular job. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this. Okay. Here is the five minute NASDAQ. There is a trade, okay? It's a little difficult, but there is a trade. We needed one. See, when it makes all this noise, see, see, look, look at, look at this on the five. How fucked up that is! All in this big cluster. So sometimes it makes more sense, you know, on on a higher time time frame like the five minute. So anyway, here was the trade and uh, went down 150 points on the NASDAQ. There's a, there's a lower lows here too. Yeah, there's a trade in here too. Um, yeah, lower lows and higher on the indicator. And you would have got long in there. And there was like 40 points there to take if you're there to do it. And here's the NASDAQ. Or I mean the, the S&P. Oh. Look how smooth the S&P looks. We have, a, we have a barcode here. But look how... <laughs> look how easy it looks. The, the hidden divergence. It's like, oh my goodness. Really like clean trade, like like look at it. Right here. Ding ding sell ding down we go. Ding a ling a ling down we go. Right, right there. There's no higher closed candles in this string of down candles to sell it. The only sell is right on the opening of this uh or on the close of this pin bar to the downside. That is a bearish pin bar. Okay. There's actually divergence up here too. We got we got to show it to you. We got no fucking trades here today. It's all fucking messed up. Okay. Uh, and this down like that. And your entry would have been right there on the opening of this candle right here. And it went down. 20 points quickly. What time was that at? 1710. There was some little bit of tiddly dinkwits or whatever news there or something. The auction or something. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Let's look at the Dow. Oh, we got we got divergence at the top here. Finally they give us something. Yeah, these markets are on fire, man. They're on fire. There's the something debate or whatever tonight with whoever. I don't know. Whoever it's with. That's another reason it's probably hopping today. And they're just... They're, they're, they're diving down. Like, probably, the, not that I look at them, but the stocks. The tech stocks. That's probably another reason. Okay. We have that divergence here again, see, to the downside. Hard to see divergence. Just like that. And there was a trade in here also. Look at that. Big sell-off. Boom. Big sell-off. Oh, and look what we have along the way. We have a higher close. Sell it. Oh, I hate when it goes over the lines. Come on, you little bastard. I'd rather put them above the lines. There, you can see it. Higher close, sell it right here. Boom, 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 boom. And down it goes. Wow. How many fucking points did it go down? 208. 520 points from the top to the bottom. That's on the Dow. Let's see the pound dollar. 
Oh, beautiful. Right here. Oh, right here too. Boom. Higher highs. There's that one. And there's this one. Look at look at how much that stands out at you, eh? See the big mountain and the little mountain? Yeah, man. And this one too is kind of weird looking, but it's divergent. It definitely is, ladies and gents. Higher highs and lower lows definitely works. And what do we have right smack dab in the in the in the middle of these twins? We have another one. No way, it can't be. Lower lows again? Oh my goodness. How can that be? That's not possible. There's no way. <laughs> Where the fuck do I grab that to? I don't know. I'll tweak it. Let's see. Where? Where's it? Where's it? Oh, it's going way the fuck up there. Jason. You got you don't have that drawn out right. Ah, it's from down here. There it is. Now I found it. There, right there. See, boom, and right there, or right here. And it's still I still need to stretch it out. This one up here. And this one right there. Let's see now. See how see how I'll show it in a sec. Hold on. See how small that is? But look at this. It's twice as big. But it lines up. Look. Oh, I still don't even have it lined up. I still need to bring it up here. Okay. Let's try it now. There and there. That is divergent, ladies and gentlemen. It definitely is. 100%. And up it goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, but look what we have here. What do we have here? What's this? What's this here? Higher close above the moving averages. And then they whack it down. And then you sell. And then here's a high, another one. See? Right there. They whack it down into here and you sell. And then we had a higher close, sell it, and down it goes. And here's another one. I wouldn't do this one though. You know how we need to sell, be selling from up here where it just turned and rolled over like a dead dog. And you know, and you know, we don't want to try and sell it at the top. We want to sell it near the top, near, very close, near. Okay, and we have more, more, uh, we have more down here too. Boom. Yeah, that's divergence too. 100%. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay, that's it for the pound. <laughs> lots of lots of goodness on the pound dollar today, huh? Look at all that. Beautiful. What'd the euro give us? Oh, probably not so beautiful. Yeah. I'll just put these lines on here. Okay, higher highs, yep. Yeah. Hi, your highs. Hi, how are ya? Right there. And then we have uh, hidden divergence right in here somewhere. You can draw it wherever you want. As long as it's higher than the place you draw started drawing it from. Yeah, yeah. And right here, just like this. Down like that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's way the fuck over there. Okay, we can take it there too. Right down there. There it is. And you would have sold right in here. And down it went. 
for a whole 13 pips. That's the Euro USD. Okay, this one is the pound yen. Looks like we got to put it on the 15 minute. Well, not actually. Here's hidden divergence right here. Oh, itchy, itchy. Uh, so itchy. What am I looking for? I'm lost here. <laughs> Another aluminum moment. Oh my goodness. Too many boxes of craft dinner. I'm the KD kid here up in Canada. I just love macaroni and cheese. It's so fucking good. Oh my goodness. The bikers, they they make craft dinner. They uh they they put in a can of Campbell's mushroom soup and they call it GORP. G-O-R-P. GORP. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. You can do all kinds of things. You can put meat in it, whatever. Make a casserole with it. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese is good. I love my oatmeal, too. Oatmeal's good. Okay. Shut up, Jason. Um. Right there, you would have got short. Went down 45 pips on the pound yen. Okay, let's look at the euro yen. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, we can still do it. I'll show you. We just drag it to the top of that little wicker. <laughs> and it's higher than where you drew it from. <laughs> and look at this big fucking Mount Everest right here. Down like that or wherever it goes. Oh, I think it goes right there. Okay. And then you would have sold that puppy. And down it goes. Went down uh, 15, 16 pips on the Euro Yen. And that's about it for the Euro Yen. Okay, let's look at oil now. It had a big sell-off. <laughs> Woo-wee! Look at her go. She's still going. <laughs> this is what I should have traded today. Fuck. The oil. How much did it come down? Oh my goodness. It came down $3.50 from 69 Oh my god. Is oil going to zero again? Minus where you had to pay them to buy it from you? <laughs> uh, you never know. Holy fuck, did they sell it off today? Holy jeez, Louise. And you know what? Look what we had right up here at the top. Well, we had higher highs. Like that. We can draw it to here, too. See? Right there. Right there. Yeah, it's divergent, man. It's freaking, it's, it's divergent. I don't have to put this in the most perfect place all the time. This time I'm not doing it. It's a little tricky to do it. But, uh, crazy. Crazy trade all the way down. And there was another trade uh, down here as well. Okay, uh, hidden. Hidden divergence. Okay. Right here. Down to there. See? There's the hidden divergence. And you would have sold uh, right in here. And that trade was still good for 80, 90 pips. See, you can look at this. You know how I tell you don't sell near the bottom, and that's near the bottom. But because there was such a wicked move down, you know, you could be waiting for it and, and looking for this trade, which was right here. To sell it to the downside, again, selling near the bottom. Like I said, most most of the time, it's a mistake. 100% a 
mistake, okay? But uh, today it's not because of the huge move down. Okay, let's look at gold, uh, gold now. Oh, fuck, that's beautiful too. Gold. Gold is a beautiful thing too. Okay, higher highs. Down like that. And you would have got short in here. And it went down 114 points, I think. I don't know. Could be reading something different. Not sure, but okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting tired. Okay. You would have got long here, and it went up 122 points. And the divergence is right here. Okay, I know it's it's kind of hard to see it, but yeah, yeah. It's right there. Just take it from here to here like that. There's the divergence you buy here. And it went up how much? 120 points on gold. And that's it for the important markets <clears throat> of the day. What happened today in Bitcoin? Oh, it's still trying to rally up in XRP. Oh, it's still there, sitting at the same place. At least it's still sitting there, and it's not down here. If they sell it down to, like, 30 cents again or whatever, it's just going to... It's going to be upsetting, is what it's going to be. Silver? Oh, still there, in the same place. And Ethereum? Yeah, it looks like to be in the same place as well. Okay, uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming out today and watching and listening. That's greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and hit the like button. I also want to say if you subscribed or, you know, or hit the like button lately, uh, that's great. I want to thank you for doing that. And also, there's a few people who decided to pick up a copy of my course, and uh, I want to thank you for your order and trust and faith in me and my teaching this crazy market. <laughs> okay, you guys, have a good afternoon, good luck, and good trading.